Marcelo I Rios, I think, was the best athlete in, in Chile, in Chile, in history of Chile. Uh, he became number one in the world, and I think he's one of the. I admire him a lot because he is. is I think it's hard to be a good athlete in Chile. The, the people in Chile, they they judge you a lot. I think uh, is they are really close mind. They 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 don't. They, they don't dream big in Chile, so having a number one player in the world it was huge for Chile to, to see that we are able to, to achieve those kind of achievements. And yeah, I mean, seeing that Marcelo Rios done that, I think it motivates me a lot to, to be number one in the golf. Um, so he was world number one, you were number one amateur. Um, did you, and then you won on PGA Tour first Chilean. Um, did you receive some message? Some, you have some, did you have some contact? Yeah, so Marcelo, he, he is a little bit into the world of golf. He knows a little bit. Uh, obviously, he doesn't live in Chile. He lives in, in, in Florida. But uh, yeah, now I, I do have contact with him. We, we, we exchange messages sometimes. Uh, he's really nice that he was able to go and watch me at a golf tournament in, in, in Tampa. So yeah, that, that was amazing. I mean, it was the first time I met him, but we obviously before we have some messages on Instagram or WhatsApp, and now we talk a lot pretty often. And he's, he's, a, he's a funny guy. He's, he's different than all the other ones. And, and I think that's why he's so good. At, I don't think he gave me any tips. It's just uh, seeing him, how confident he is. Uh, just the way he acts, you know, the, his personality. I think just being around him it gives you a lot of energy of of being a better person, you know, of being a better athlete, of being of achieve more. Yeah, he's a strong character. I don't think I gotta. I might have a few things from him, but I I doubt it. I think he he was a little bit more crazy, <laughs> but I think that's why he was so good too. So. Well, of course, I'm pretty quiet. Uh, I, I don't talk much. Um, at the same time, I'm, I'm enjoying every moment at the, at the golf course. Every shot, every, every bad shot, every good shot. I'm trying to learn something new. Uh, sometimes you could see that I'm, I'm having like a rough time, but I, I, inside I'm, I'm loving every second of it. Uh, I read that you like to mix hard work and fun. How? So when I start working with my coach, he, I think he really struck me in, in a way that I, that everything that I have to achieve, that I want to achieve, I have to work hard for it. And, and he helped me a lot to understand his method of when you want to achieve something, you got to work the right way. You got to be thinking on, on your dreams. You got to be focused on what you want to do. And at the same time, if you can mix that with something of what I like that is being happy, energizer. I think you can you can have a mix of both and you can create something even bigger. Um, I just had a chat with Sergio Garcia. He said he, he, he got, uh, you got everything needed to perform on major at the highest level. But what's your your opinion about your game so far? Yeah, I think I, I, I do believe that I have game to win a major, obviously. Uh, that's why I play the game. That is why I, I love competing because I would like to win on the biggest stage. There are the four majors, and and I think I, there is a lot of learning experience process. I I think I every year that I play majors, there is something new that I can learn until until the moment comes. I think the moment could be any time. It could be the next major at the Masters, or it could be in ten more years. But I know that I'm going to prepare myself the best, the best I can for, for that situation and try to do my best for that situation. When I, when I compete, I, I, I'm, re I'm already competing against myself. So I think it's already tough to beat myself in, in the golf course. It's a battle uh, for four days. So yeah, I think I, I don't worry about who I'm playing with. I know I'm battling against me and, and that's already enough. <laughs> Uh, who, uh, who were your golfing idol when you, you grew up? Who you wanted to play with at the, when you were a teenager and kids? And yeah, when I, at the beginning I watched a lot of, obviously Tiger was my idol, uh, Sergio, Sergio was too, uh, Rory as well. But now that, I, that I'm already here and I know that I can beat them, I just 
try to create my own character, you know, my my own person, and just see how far can I go. Um, what is the impact on yourself of your win, your first win on PGA Tour? I think the biggest point of my career at the beginning was getting my PGA Tour card. Since I got my PGA Tour card, I knew that I was able to beat and win a golf tournament, a PGA Tour. And yeah, I mean, after I, after a few tournaments, I knew I had a chance and I was just a matter of time. I knew I, I didn't have to change anything of my game, of my, the way I played the game. I knew that if I was keep doing the same, I was, I was gonna win sooner than later. And yeah, I, the win came sooner than I thought in, at the Greenbrier. And after that, I had a, a few close calls that I, that I finished second, that I lost a few playoffs, but I, but yeah, I think those moments were tough, but at the same time, I tried to take the positive from that and try to put it back into the golf course as an experience, and I think that helped me also to win the Riviera. You, I guess you're you Chilean, you like football now? Who's yes. your favorite player? Yeah, I like football. I like, I like a lot Alexis. I think he's a, a big character for Chile because he, he represents us really well. Obviously, he's a great player, but I think his work ethic is, is really good. He's 30 something years old right now. He keeps pushing himself hard. Uh, and you, you now see them, and they're kind of like going down on his career because they already have his, his prime. But you see Alexis Sanchez, and he's already trying to work harder, trying to get better, even though he's getting older. So I think that's, he's my idol in football. Uh -huh. You're not a football player, but what were the impact of your victory on PGA Tour in Chile? Yeah, it's... TV news, maybe? Or... Yeah, I was on the TV news, but everybody... I mean, it's different. In Chile, they see golf like a really luxury sport, you know, like a really... Same in France. Yeah, so every, every time I I'll win a tournament, I mean, the two times that I won a tournament, at the beginning, they were kind of like posting how much money I was doing. So it was kind of like nonsense. Everybody would read that and see like, oh, this kid is doing millions. And you know, they, they look in, in a bad way instead of doing like, oh, look at this kid. He, he worked his ad, ass off, tried to get his goal and now he's doing great, you know. But there is others and others, you know. So um, the news in Chile were a little bit tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Last question, um, let's imagine it's possible to play PGA Tour and Live Golf and Asian Tour, everything you want. Would you go back to PGA Tour? I mean, we can play every event that we want to. I'll, I'll play, obviously, the 14 Live events, plus the four majors, and yeah, I, I would love to play in Asian Tour, I would love to play European Tour, I would love to play PGA Tour events. I, I would like to play all over the world. I mean, for me, the first time coming outside the US for as a professional golfer. I mean, I've, I've been a few times outside, but playing different tours. And it's, it's really exciting to see, it's really exciting to see the different cultures, the different tours, how they work. And, and I think me being a, being a, a top ranked player, I think it's, it's good to be playing golf all over the world, all over the tour, because at the end of the day, you're supporting the game of golf, not supporting one leech, you know? So, yeah, I mean, I'll play, I'll play everything. Hopefully near, in the near future, I, I will be able to, to play in the French Open. I would love to. You rock, thank you very <laughs> much. Muchas gracias. De nada, gracias a ti.